May 18th. sit in our chair we're somewhere in Florida we don't tell anybody where we're at but the Lord has had me here for a long time many months sometimes the Lord We'll take you on a ride. Well, that's right. We'll give you the ride of your life. It's great when you serve the Lord. He has great benefits. We're going to read the word. Thank you for your word, Lord. Come a little bit closer. We're going to give a word. <laughs> this is a good word. Be strong and courageous. Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded? You be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. The Lord is always with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. We're glad. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Father, you're here. We love you, Father. We have a great, great Father. Our Father in heaven loves us. He loves us. He's looking out for us. He's calling us out of where we are. Trying to get us where we need to be. Be encouraged today. It's the Lord God who goes before you and make your crooked places straight. Holy Spirit, we love you. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. You've cleansed us from all unrighteousness. You've set us apart. You've set America apart for such a time as this. Your angels and the armies of heaven are here. You've come to encourage us. To take us, to bring us in, and to reveal your love that you have for us. Your Father loves you. He's in love with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's come for such a time as this. He's come to love you. I love you. Prepare their hearts. Prepare their minds. For the coming of the Lord is here. Prepare them and direct them in the way that they need to go. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto you. It's your Father's good pleasure to give you his kingdom. He has come to set the captives free. He's 
He's come to restore that which was lost. He's come to open up blind eyes. He's come to restore the brethren. He's come to bring in the new and cast out the old. He's come to bring in righteousness and rid this land of evil. He's come to stand and to make his mark here in this land and in this nation. This nation will never be the same after today. There is great change happening. Great change happens when you're changed. Great change occurs when you're changed. You must come to the Lord today. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the acceptable year of the Lord. Now is the time. Right now. Today is the day of your salvation. You think you have another hour. You think you have time to wait a little longer. You don't. You don't have time anymore, says the Lord. We're on his time now. The time is gone from this land. Time is up. Ding, ding, ding. Time's up. Time is up. Time is up. How long am I going to hear my children crying? How long am I going to let the abominations of man be in this land? No longer, no longer will I hear it. No longer will I see it. It'll depart from me like a scroll rolled and cast out, gone forever. I hear them. They're all speaking to me. My children are speaking to me right here in heaven. They're all speaking. They're all telling me. When are you going to avenge those that have murdered us? When are you going to avenge? Those who destroyed us, who have blood on their hands. And they were all given to them white robes. And they, and he said, oh, just wait for a little bit longer. We got it. Just wait. We got it. We're writing it all down. We're recording it all. We got it. And the Lord says, today is a day. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. Those who come to me, the Lord says, must lay down their lives. They must come to me as they are, but they must lay down their lives 
when they receive me. For I did say, if you love your life, you'll lose it. If you lose your life for my name's sake, you'll find it. There's an appointed time of the Lord. There's an appointed time of the Lord. When one must themselves am I going the right direction am I loving one another am I doing good or am I doing evil am I creating havoc or am I creating life more abundantly am I giving to this world or am I destroying this world The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, I don't know how people can stand over here and listen to these cries. I know everybody hears them. And nobody's affected by the cries of my children. There's a problem here. There's a problem when you hear crying like that. Sounds like torture to me. Sounds like pedophilia to me. Sounds like they're being killed on the altars to me. Oh no, we just aren't going to do anything. Uh. Yeah, because you're a fool. Because you don't know who you are. You have nothing because you don't know who you are. You're not doing anything because you don't know who you are. Wake up! My God. You either serve the Lord or you serve the loser. You can't be unequally yoked. You fool. You're either holy or you're not. You're clean. Your hands are either clean or they're not. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Oh, yeah, yeah. How long have I had to listen to this? 